Okay, first of all, we are going over the homework from yesterday, so please have out a pen. And we are on pages four and pages five, okay? So first of all, it says, okay, for each table of values, show the input and the output machine with one operation. Then write the numbers and the operation in the machine. Okay, sure. So they're gonna, I know they're gonna start off pretty easy, pretty easy. Okay, so how do we get from two to four? Well, we think it's probably going to be times two. That works for this one. Let's see for this one. Four times two is eight. Yes, six times two is 12. Okay, cool. We know this one is going to be two. Okay, next one. How do we get from 24 to six? Well, I know that would work for divide by four. And then let's see if this one works for divide by four. It does. Happy days, divide by four. Okay, that one is pretty easy for us to do. Okay, the next part, so if you got that, you can give yourself um, a mark for each of these. Okay, then the next one is write the pattern rule. Okay, so pattern rule that relates the input to the output, okay, for each table. So we're going to do A first. So we would say start at two, increase by multiplying by two each time, okay? So for this one, you will get a total of three marks. Okay, start at two, and then you know that we are, um, well actually this one's only out of two marks because we're increasing by two because there's only, it's only one rule. So this one is out of two. Okay, the next one is start at 24, and then we're going to do decrease by dividing by four each time. Okay, so again, we get two marks. Okay, four saying divide by four. So this one's out of two, this one's out of two. The whole page, you can give yourself a mark out of six. Okay, next one is, okay, this is going to get a little bit more challenging now because first of all, we need to find the um, machines for two operations. Okay, so for each table, write the numbers and the operations. Okay, so we need to figure out what is happening for this first one. So I know I'm gonna have two different machines. Okay, all right, let's see here. So how do I get from four to 25? Well, overall it's going to be increasing. Okay, I'm gonna get out my pencil so I can sort of do a little bit of experimentation with this. Maybe I can try times five. Let's see if that's gonna work, okay? So four times five is 20, and then I know I would do, maybe then it's gonna be plus five. Plus five does give me 25. Okay, let's see if that works for the next one. Five times five is, uh-oh, I'm already seeing this is gonna be a problem. Five times five is 20, oops, 25. Uh-oh, it's not gonna be plus five, right? That does not work, so I'm gonna erase. Woo, this is a massive one right now. Okay, there we go. Erase, not gonna work, okay. Um, maybe I'm going to do, okay, well I know times five doesn't work, I'm gonna have to do something bigger. I'm going to jump to, I'm gonna jump to times seven see if that works okay four times seven is 28 and then how do I get from 28 to 25 it would be subtract by three okay that one works Four times seven minus three okay let's see the next one five times seven is 35 how do I get from 35 to 32 ah right on minus three okay this one works try one more six times seven is 42 yes 42 minus 3 is 39 okay that one happened for me pretty quickly the strategy I went with is finding an easy number first like I wanted to do like times 5 that's a friendly number then rather than just going up to times 6 because I knew I was a little bit off I took a bit more of a jump maybe I could have done even times 8 if I wanted to but I went with times 7 and it happened to work so um, okay that's that one but then it also says I need to 
oh, it just says down here we have to write it. Okay, cool. So technically we would do times seven and then minus three, okay? So you get two marks for each of those ones. Okay, just a little note, when you're doing these, you have to make sure you put the operation first and then the number. I was seeing that wrong in a couple of people's work in the, um, uh, the seesaw stuff from yesterday. Okay, next one is, okay, let's see. We know we're gonna have to have these double machines up here. Okay, let's try. How are we going to do this? Okay, I know that I am going to be getting smaller. So I'm gonna do a division first, okay? Usually, we would have multiply or divide first, okay? See how here it was multiply? Either multiply or divide first, then it's probably gonna be, um, ooh, why did I put six? I don't know why I did that. Um, I guess I just sort of thought of it. Okay, so let's see. I think an easy number, again, is five. I'm gonna just start with five, that's a pretty friendly number. So five divided by, or 50 divided by five is 10. How do I get from 10 to 20? Okay, well I do times two. That one works. Let's see if it works for the other ones. Okay, 55 divided by five is 11. Oh yeah, 11 times two is 22. Okay, so this is totally guess and check problem solving. So that one got lucky with right away. Okay, we can do this one if we want to as well. Um, which would be, uh, what is that, 12? 12 times two is 24, yep, okay, that works. So it's going to be divided by five and then multiply by two. Okay, again, for two marks, okay. Next one is, okay, how do I get from seven to 26? Well, I know that I'm going up somehow. So, um, all right, let's try a friendly number first. Would I need to jump all the way to five? Hmm, if I did five, that's a pretty huge number, right? That's 35. And then it would be, well, how do I get from, so say that I did five. How do I get from 35 to 26? I have subtracted nine. Okay, that one works. Let's see. Eight times five is 40. 40 minus nine is not 28 so nope that does not work okay i'm going to erase that does not make that does not make this work erase erase okay so that was too big i'm going to go down to another friendly number i'm going to go to maybe like times by two let's see another easy number seven times two is 14 how do i get from 14 to 26 i do adding of 12. Okay, let's see. So I think it might be plus 12. Okay, so times two, eight times two is 16. 16 plus 12 is, oh, that's 28. Nine times two is 18, oops. And then 18, oh yeah, plus 12 is 30. So that is it, okay? So happy days. You can put that as well. I guess they were asking for it down here, plus 12, okay? So that question is tricky. That would have taken a little bit of perseverance and problem solving to get. It's not meant to be super easy stuff. This is really meant to make your brains work. Okay, there's not gonna be an easy, simple right answer. Okay, the next one we have to do is, um, we have to write the pattern rule. Okay, so write the pattern rule that relates the input to the output for the table in question one. Okay, so start at four increase by multiplying by seven, then subtracting three each time, okay? Next one is start at 50, decrease by dividing by five, then times and by two each time. Next one is start at seven. Overall, we are increasing. Increase by multiplying by two, then add 12 each time, okay? For this one, you can give yourself 
three marks. Start at four, multiply by seven, okay, like this. So that's out of nine. Okay, next one is, okay, this table shows the input-output machines for um, two operations, okay. So we have to do, I'm just gonna go down here so we have a little bit more space. Okay, how do we get there? I know I'm gonna be getting smaller, so I'm gonna do divide. I'm gonna choose divide by five, because it's a friendly number. And then I think, okay, so 25 divided by five is five. And then I'm gonna do multiply by three. Let's check if it works. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Perfect. Okay, that one works. So numbers are divide by 5, multiply by 3. Write the next numbers. Okay, so I know that my pattern here is going up. So this is going to be 40 and then 45 and then 50. I'm going to divide by 5, which equals 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 50 divided by 5 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. Okay, so those each of those ones can also get a mark. So that part can be at a 6. This is out of 2. Okay, then next, oh yes, this is the best part. Predict the output when the input is 50, or sorry, 100. Okay, so here we go. So when the input is 100, I'm going to divide by 5, which gives me 20. 20 times 3 is 60. Okay, so 60 is the answer. Okay, for one well-earned uh, one well-earned mark. Okay, um, good job. So that is that.